Deep in the heart of the Cretaceous period, a time when colossal dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex roamed the Earth, there lived a creature of astonishing contrasts. This was Oculodentavis congrai, the smallest dinosaur ever discovered. Imagine a world ruled by giants where this tiny reptile, no bigger than a hummingbird, darted amongst the ferns, a miniature marvel in a land of titans. Its story, locked away for millions of years, was only recently brought to light, a testament to the incredible diversity of life that once graced our planet. The discovery of Oculutan Tavis in 2020 sent ripples through the scientific community. Encased in a piece of 99 million year old amber from Myanmar, this tiny dinosaur provided a unique glimpse into a world long gone. It was a testament to the power of fossilization, preserving even the most delicate of creatures across vast stretches of time. The amber, once a sticky resin oozing from ancient trees, had become a time capsule, safeguarding the secrets of a lost world. This find wasn't just about size, it was about piecing together the intricate tapestry of life that existed during the Cretaceous period. Every fossil, no matter how small, adds a new thread to our understanding of evolution. Oculodentavis, with its unique blend of features, presented both answers and intriguing new questions about the dinosaurs that shared our planet so long ago. The preservation of Oculodentavis in amber is a story in itself. Imagine this tiny creature perhaps flitting through the undergrowth becoming ensnared in the sticky resin of a coniferous tree. Its struggles would have been brief, quickly encased by the viscous fluid. Over time, the resin hardened, transforming into amber, a natural preservative of remarkable quality. This process, while seemingly tragic for the individual, has provided us with an unparalleled window into the past. Unlike traditional fossils, which often compress and distort remains, amber preserves creatures in three dimensions, capturing the finest details. In the case of Oculodentavis, we can see the delicate bones of its skull, the rows of sharp teeth, and even the remnants of soft tissues like its tongue and eyelids. The amber tomb of Oculodentavis is more than just a burial ground, it is a time capsule, preserving a snapshot of life as it was millions of years ago. The clarity of the fossil allows scientists to study its anatomy in exquisite detail, revealing characteristics that would have been lost in other forms of fossilization. It is a testament to the power of nature to both create and preserve, offering us glimpses into a world we could never have imagined. The skull of Oculodentavis is truly remarkable, a testament to the incredible diversity of dinosaur forms. Measuring a mere one and a half centimeters in length, it is smaller than the skull of a hummingbird, making it the smallest dinosaur skull ever discovered. But this tiny skull is packed with intriguing features that have captivated scientists since its discovery. One of the most striking features is its large eye sockets, similar in size and shape to those of a lizard. These suggest that Oculodentavis had unusually large eyes, hinting at a lifestyle adapted for keen vision, perhaps for hunting insects in low-light conditions. Another unusual characteristic is its teeth, which are numerous and sharp, lining its jaws in a manner more akin to some modern lizards than to other known dinosaurs. The structure of its skull also provides clues about its diet. The articulation of its jaw suggests that Oculodentavis was capable of a wide gape, allowing it to snatch small prey items. This, combined with its sharp teeth, paints a picture of a small but agile predator, likely feeding on insects and other invertebrates that inhabited the Cretaceous forests. The eyes of Oculodentavis are a window into its world, offering clues about its behavior and the environment it inhabited. The large size of its eye sockets indicates that it possessed unusually large eyes, a feature rarely seen in dinosaurs of this size. This suggests that Oculodentavis relied heavily on its vision, perhaps for hunting or for navigating the dense undergrowth of its forest home. The shape of the eye sockets is also significant. Unlike the round pupils of most birds and reptiles, Oculodentavis had narrow, lizard-like pupils. This type of pupil is often associated with animals that are active in low-light conditions, suggesting that Oculodentavis may have been most active at dawn and dusk, or perhaps even ventured into dimly lit areas within the forest. The advanced vision of Oculodentavis is just one example of the remarkable adaptations that dinosaurs evolved over millions of years. It highlights the incredible diversity of sensory systems that existed in the prehistoric world, 
each tailored to the specific challenges and opportunities of its ecological niche. Section 5. Hunter or Hunted the question of whether Oculudin Tavis was a hunter or hunted is one that continues to intrigue scientists. Its small size and delicate build suggests that it would have been vulnerable to larger predators, making it likely that it played the role of both predator and prey in the complex food web of the Cretaceous period. On the one hand, Oculudin Tavis possessed several adaptations that suggest a predatory lifestyle. Its sharp teeth, wide gape and keen eyesight all point to a diet of small invertebrates, which it likely captured with quick darting movements. Its small size would have allowed it to exploit resources that were unavailable to larger predators, making it a specialized hunter within its ecosystem. However, its diminutive size also meant that Oculudin Tavis would have been a prime target for larger predators, such as small dinosaurs, birds, and even large insects. Its agility and keen eyesight would have been its best defenses, allowing it to detect danger and escape quickly. Section 6. A World of Miniature Marvels Oculudin Tavis was not alone in its small stature. The Cretaceous period was a time of incredible diversity, with dinosaurs evolving to fill a vast array of ecological niches. While giants like Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops dominated the landscape, a hidden world of miniature marvels thrived beneath their feet. Fossils of other small dinosaurs such as Microraptor, Comsognathus, and Parvacursor reveal a world teeming with diminutive creatures. These dinosaurs, some no larger than chickens, scurried through the undergrowth, hunted insects and scavenged for scraps, playing a vital role in the delicate balance of their ecosystems. The discovery of Oculudin Tavis adds another fascinating piece to this puzzle, demonstrating that even the smallest of dinosaurs could evolve unique and specialized adaptations. It serves as a reminder that the fossil record is full of surprises, and that our understanding of the prehistoric world is constantly evolving. Section 7. Evolutionary Enigmas while the discovery of Oculudin Tavis has provided valuable insights into the diversity of dinosaurs, it has also raised some intriguing evolutionary puzzles. Its unique combination of features, such as its large eyes, lizard-like skull, and bird-like beak, has made it difficult to place within the dinosaur family tree. Some scientists believe that Oculudin Tavis represents a transitional form between dinosaurs and birds, highlighting the close evolutionary relationship between these two groups. Others argue that its unique features are simply a result of its small size and specialized lifestyle, and that it should be classified as a more primitive type of dinosaur. The debate over Oculudentavis's evolutionary relationships highlights the challenges that paleontologists face when piecing together the history of life on Earth. With each new discovery, our understanding of the past is refined and revised, and the boundaries between different groups of organisms become increasingly blurred. Section 8. The Past Still Holds Secrets The discovery of Oculudentavis is a testament to the power of fossils to transport us back in time, offering glimpses into worlds long gone. It reminds us that the Earth has been home to an astonishing array of life forms, many of which we are only just beginning to understand. As we continue to explore the fossil record we can expect to uncover even more strange and wonderful creatures, each with its own story to tell. The past is a vast and mysterious realm, and every new discovery brings us one step closer to unraveling its secrets. The story of Oculudin Tavis is just one chapter in the ongoing saga of life on Earth, a story that continues to unfold with each passing day.